Masher is an open source both hardware and software autonomous RC car project. They are providing the old code base and design so you don't have to do anything at all. Just print out from a 3D printer and you can just build everything up. So it's a very nice and open source project. Thank you for providing this guys. And let's go to their uh, GitHub and this is the github.com pl musher and let's have a look there are three repositories pinned at the top so they are musher musher sim and musher base uh, but today we will go with the musher where we can find these zacro urdf files for to be able to import them into isaac uh, don't get confused musher sim is not what we are going to use today it's something else it's their own uh, simulation so you can have a look at it and you can try it it's also very nice but uh, we will just go with the musher and under the description we will see there are zacro files under the robots so let's go and copy the url and first create a um, workspace let's open the let's open the yep yeah. open the terminal let's create a workspace and let's go to the workspace and clone the Musher repository since i already downloaded it it's complaints but don't worry and let's open a vs code to see what we have there and under it you will see that as i mentioned earlier there is a description the hardware and utils but today we need only the description and under it there are robots and under the robots you will see that there is musher nano urdf zacro so this is the uh, zacro that's providing all the necessary information to be able to bring up the uh, vehicle into simulation but the thing is that with the NVIDIA Isaac, you cannot just use the Zacros. You need the URDF files. And to be able to do that, go to the, uh, the NVIDIA developers forums. And you will see that there is already a topic called import Zacro where they are mentioning that we should be using the Rostran uh, Zacro Zacro dash O output urdf input zacro file so let me copy this and let me go to the terminal once more and let's go to the sure sure description robots and let's check and my urdf zacro is there machine on a urdf zacro uh so let's Keep the name same, Musher I, and the input file is I'm sorry, uh, was it? I, I forgot to say Rose wrong, sorry, and it should be there let's check with the yes code and here we go yeah the file is here so this document was auto generated by zacro from machine no, no you are the zacro editing this file by hand is not recommended but we will have to change it in the future so don't worry uh, so, since we already got the URDF, now let's go to the Isaac. And in the Isaac, on the top, you will see the Isaac utils, the workflows, and the URDF importer. The URDF importer is a very nice tool because uh, it makes the importing the URDF files in a very easy way. But there are some details we have to just be careful 
otherwise there can be some problems or you may get lost so i will try to help you as much as possible so let me uh zoom a little here so you can see a bit better maybe put it in the middle yes okay so the first thing is that we have to uncheck is the fixed base link because we are not going to use a fixed armors and a robot like that so we are going to build a mobile robot so just unclick it and the next thing is the joint drive type so there are three types none position and velocity so basically these are importing the um, joints in the urdf as one of these types so either can be none position or velocity so the position uh, will bring the uh, the old joints with the damping and uh, stiffness values but if you choose the velocity then the damping will have some value but stiffness will be zero so since we have four throttle and two steering joints in this URDF I will go with the velocity because then it will be a little easier to just uh, change the uh, the two uh, steering joints and give them some stiffness instead of just uh, zeroing out the throttle stiffness to zero uh, so the next thing is the de convex decomposition uh, this is for the collision uh, matrices or meshes uh, so it will just try to fit in at, m at most as possible so I will just choose this I don't want the self collision because self collision can cause problems uh, and we are uh, at the beginning at least not sure if our uh, joints are colliding with each other so I'm not going to choose it but you can try what's going on if you choose uh, I want the physics in yes and I need the URD file so I will go to the workspace mouse again and in the musher tutorial workspace go to source musher and musher description robots and you all can already see there's only one URD because as i mentioned the uh, importer cannot use the zacro file so the only the URDF is now musher nano URDF, and i will choose that and it will say that output directory will be same uh, with the source file yes it's you can keep it or change it so the uh, the USD universal scene description file which is the standard file for the the, the Isaac uh, will be created wherever you choose and it's, it doesn't matter where you create it because you can just drag and drop into the scene anyway but I will keep it like that and yes since it already exists you can just say yes if it already exists or you too and yeah we already imported the car everything is in place so leader is there the web uh, the entire real sense is missing but we will fix that too don't worry the wheels and springs everything is in place so very nice but i want to show you one thing before we proceed with the next video what you have to be careful about is that this orange color if you see that this means this is an ancestral prim and you cannot change this so if you try to add something or change the places of the joints for example it will complain let me show you let me zoom out a little so we can see that for example the front right wheel steer is located under the basing which is not really nice so i would like to put it in where it belongs so front right wheel steer uh, front right wheel steer link so when i try that as you can see let me try one more time so you can see cannot move rename ancestral prim since this is an ancestral prim uh it won't let you change anything here so what you have to do is say don't save you create a new scene let's open a new stage and let's open the usd file we have just imported and 
Let's try it once more to go to base link and front right wheel steer and this time it's working. So you should be careful when you just import something and if it's ancestral prim it won't let you just change things so you will have to just go once more don't save and double click on the usd file what you would like to just change and as you can see the that orange ancestral prim is gone okay all right in the next video i will show you how to just add an action graph to be able to just